for Soldiers recipient, Master Sergeant Peggy Schmidt. Coyotes Hockey is presented by Nissan. Welcome back to Hilo River Arena. Down to Paul Sura for our national anthems. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see the true north strong and free from far and wide oh canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land glorious and free Stand on guard for thee, O oh, Canada. We stand on guard for thee. And now. With the singing of the Star Spangled Banner, please welcome recording artist and featured performer for the Army Musical Outreach, Sergeant Corinne Campbell. Broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs burst. Great start to military night here at Gila River Arena, the Jets in town to take on the Arizona Coyotes. Let's take a look at the starting goaltenders here tonight. They are presented by Behind the Mask Hockey Shops. Well, for the Winnipeg Jets, it's Andre Pavlik. You look at the numbers, his last five starts have not been good. Mike Smith gets his third straight start of the season. Five starts in December, looking for a big bounce back game from the other night. They're going to need them. The referees here tonight, Steve Kozari, Gord Dwyer, and the linesman, Brian Pansich, and Shane Heyer. Coyotes and Jets met on opening night. The Jets came away victorious here at Gila River Arena. And the Coyotes are going to try to bounce back after that tough a shutout loss the other night against the St. Louis Blues. It's not going to be easy. This top unit, Dave Tippett, going with Kyle Chipchura. No Martin Hansel again in the lineup. Kyle Chaptura's line is going to have their hands full, trying to shut down this top unit, a little Wheeler and Ladd. Yeah, and we scroll the line to the bottom of your screen, some changes, so take note. As the puck will be moved along by Ekman Larson, he gets it through center. This is going to go all the way down. Andre Pavlik had to steer it, and we get a quick whistle here. There might be a penalty coming up here against the Jets. Well, the Coyotes, four and two. After losses and... 
mentioned there, it looks like it's going to be Little going to the box for tripping, goalie interference, whatever you want to call it. So an early power play opportunity for the Coyotes. Our first Arizona Lottery Powerball power play Little for tripping at the 23 second mark. And the power play in and out there for Matt Bodker and Doan with Keith Yandel and Oliver ekman Larson manning the points. What a chance here for the Coyotes to get on the board early. Yandel out high. ekman Larson with a shot just wide off the end boards and they can't buy it. Oh, how about that carom after that shot of Oliver ekman Larson. Shoot first mentality. Nice puck work between Yandel and Oliver ekman Larson puck to the front of the net. Jim Slater, one of the penalty killers out there with a Peluso. Also out there, Adam Party and Dustin Buffalo. Coyotes will bring it in. Doan looking around, sets it up above that right wing faceoff dot. Ends up to Yandel inside the left point. Ekman Larson, he shoots, blocked away. Slater got a piece of that one. Out high now for Yandel. And now Yandel looking around, gives it to Ekman Larson. Trying to get the angle. Chance in front. It's loose. Rebound. They score. And it's Mikel Bonker. And at 110 of the opening period, the Coyotes took on the power play. And they lead it 1 0. Well, we talked about Mikel Bonker and Shane Doan in the start of this show, show. They needed more from guys like Bonker and Doan. He gets his 10th goal of the season. Got off to a real good start. And he has sputtered as of late. Keith Yandel gets that puck once again. Gets that puck to OEL. He gets it to the front of the net. Doan, Vermette, and Bodker all battling in front. Big Dustin Bufflin can't pick him up. Big goal to start this game. That's the start they needed. Huge lift for the Coyotes. Bonker, as you mentioned, Tyson is 10th at a minute 10. They're going to whistle here on the icing call against Arizona. Oliver Ekman Larson and Antoine Vermette assisting. And number 23, Oliver Larson. We talked about Bonker and Coyotes live tonight. And talked about he, how he needs to take that next step. We know it, he knows it as well. So Joe Vitale's unit out there, and it'll be played behind the net. Gordon he tries to chip it around there. And now back in behind the net. Connor Murphy will move it along back through center ice. McMillan's going to chase this one down. One on one against Paul Postma. And it ends up in behind the net. Matthew Perot will skate it out and he gets it back to center for Winnipeg. Back it over the line. Checked off uh, the stick that time of Mark Shifley. And now Adam Party has it. He'll bring it to the line before it's taken away by Moss. Up on left wing intended for Sam Gagne. He's got it. Trying to get it to the front and a rebound. Oh, right there was Lucas Lesio. Lesio looking for his first NHL goal. Well, how about this start by Arizona? They are all over it right now. And Paul Maurice cannot be happy with his hockey club taking an early penalty. Now chasing the game. Andrew Ladd will feed it in behind the net. To the line it goes. Oh, an opportunity shot just wide that time by Zach Bogosian, who's back in the lineup tonight for the Winnipeg Jets. Bogosian at the right point takes a shot, and Smith makes the save. Well, let's take one more look at this goal. A little skirmish in front of Mike Smith and Oliver ekman Larson. Watch this play. He's going to get this puck by Keith Yandel. The middle of the ice. Stop it here, guys. He's got no shooting lane. So what he does is he comes across, finds that lane, and then just gets that puck to the front of the net. You can't afford to get that shot blocked. You just want to put it in an area that your forwards can battle. Dave Tippett talked a lot about the compete level needing to be at a premium here tonight, and that was a good example of it. D-man, that's your number one job. You're not going to score from back there. Just get it to the front. And how about the chip pass, too, on the goal by Antoine Vermet? Out of the zone, Doan now for Martin Erat. There's a bit of a change here tonight. Erat is up on the left side of that line with Shane Doan and Antoine Vermet. Puck is going to be played out of there back through center ice, and the Jets will bring it in with Bogosian. And this one goes off the netting and out of play. Key to the game tonight. Tyson just won. It's brought to you by Sanderson. Well, when you're struggling, you, you got to simplify everything. And tonight, it's all about being disciplined. Stay out of the penalty box. The Coyotes have the worst penalty kill in the entire NHL. Do yourselves a favor and stay out of the box. Makes it real easy 
You look at what happened in their favor early in this game. They get a power play. They're not chasing the game. They're off to a great start and running. Well, the Winnipeg Jets, too, on the power play. They've been lights out since the middle of November. Played in behind there, trying to move it along was Ben Chirac. Played to the line. Coyotes intercept with a shot. That was blocked away. Reader all over it. Draws a penalty, and he's going to get one here against Ben Chirac, the defenseman. And the Coyotes will go to the power play again. Yeah, that's just hard work. That's just compete. And the Winnipeg Jets just on their heels. Paul Maurice knows it. He can't be happy after that first power play. And nobody draws more penalties than Tobias Reeder. And that's all because he continues to churn his legs, move his feet, and cause all sorts of havoc. And again, the Coyotes are going to want to get that puck back to the point and shots on net, the same forward unit up front. Chirac goes for the hook at 3.09, and Coyotes will win the draw. Setting it up as Antoine, or Bodker down low for Doan. Across to Ekman Larson, he scores! Oliver Ekman Larson! Coyotes with a pair of power play goals, and they lead it 2 to nothing. Well, excuse me, maybe they won't get it up top for a shot from the point. They'll work it down low this time as Winnipeg takes that pass away. So what does Oliver Ekman Larson do? He comes down the back side. You're going to see him sneak all the way down here and get this pass from the captain, Shane Doan. They give him a lane, he takes it, and nobody is even aware that Oliver Ekman Larson has come down that back door. Lads watching the puck. Bufflin's watching the puck. Oliver Ekman Larson says, thank you very much, number 11 on the year. And it comes from Shane Doe to Mikkel Bonker at 318. Howdy's get it in over the line again. Joe Vitale will play it in behind it for Dave Moss. Leaves it there for a Brandon McMillan. Great start here tonight for the Coyotes. 16-20 to go in the opening period. Haven't even played four minutes yet. They're up 2-0. The power play coming through. Two for two here in the early going as this one's going to be played in by Jay Harrison. Randy Gormley lost it. Now back to the line for Adam Party. Sends one wide. Gormley into the corner against Broly. And Joe Vitale for the Coyotes will settle it down behind the net for Brandon Gormley. Martin Erat moves it out for Shane Doan, and it's cleared to center where Party will set it up for the Winnipeg Jets. Checked off the puck that time by Doan. Rolls into the corner where Connor Murphy will go give chase. And now Antoine Vermette will bring it back in over the line. Hacking at it that time was Paul Postma. Now Antoine Vermette. Paul Postma lost it. Coyotes will pick it off again here. Comes out high, kept at the line, nope, delayed offside. And the puck will be played out, now right back in on another delayed offside. Well, we talked about Mike Smith not getting a whole lot of offensive help when he's been in net this season. It's a good way to start if you're Smith, a two-goal cushion. Well, Andrew Ladd will take a shot from the point, a stop that time by Smith, and sniffing around in front was Brian Little. Well, let's go back to Oliver Ekman Larson. Or Chaz Roberts, cool play of the game. He starts up high on the power play faceoff. So sneaky. Back door. Beautiful feet by the captain, Shane Doan. So we talked about Bodker. We talked about Shane Doan. Three points combined early in this game by the captain and Bodker, two of the Coyotes' leaders. they got to get the team out of it. That's the guys you look to. Chris Summers back in the lineup paired with Keith Yandel. And Summers will force it to center. Maybe a two-on-one. Gagne's got it. Gagne across a shot. Oh, and a stop that time by Andre Pavlik on Lucas Lesio. What a stop by Pavlik. Gagne couldn't have put it on a tee more for Lesio. Sam Gagne. What a setup there for Lesio as it's played all the way back in. Lesio's had two <laughs> glorious scoring chances in this game. Played right back and over the line and chasing it into the corner this time is Anthony Peluso. And he's take it away and now Bob Girl will find Chris Summers and he's got all sorts of room to skate it across center. As the former Michigan product will bump it in behind the net. 
Now Bogosian, who's paired tonight with Jay Harrison for Winnipeg, coughed it up. Yeah, good pickup by the Winnipeg Jets. Picking up Jay Harrison. Coughs it up here, though, to turn the front. He shoots, and a glove save by Andre Pavlik. All Coyotes, they lead it 2 nothing. Hockey on Fox Sports Arizona is brought to you by Papa John's. Get 50% off at Papa John's the day after a Coyotes win. Promo code Coyotes at PapaJohns.com. By Sanderson Ford. The best play is at Sanderson Ford. And by Gigablast Internet from Cox. Get ready for the gig life. Welcome back. It is military night. The Coyotes off to a great start here tonight, leading the Winnipeg Jets 2-0 on a pair of power play goals, one from Bodker and one from Oliver ekman Larson. Uh, it doesn't get any better as a hockey club to have a start like that. Get two gifts on the power play, get your offense, handling the puck, building momentum, and feeling good about their game. Set deep this time by Winnipeg, but it's a whistle for the icing, and so the faceoff will come all the way back. Let's take a look at that second goal. Yeah, not much to feel good about from the last game, but lots here tonight. Again, the power play gets it done, and watch Winnipeg. Their coverage. Shane Doan gets it down low. Everybody in a Winnipeg Jets jersey is focused on the captain. Nobody picks up the most dangerous guy on the ice, Oliver ekman Larson. Shane Doan's not going to score from below the goal line. I'm sorry. As we all saw, OEL sure did. Bodker has it, to the line it goes. Trying to keep that line was Brandon Gormley. Out with it, though, go the Jets. Michael Froelich, Gormley all over him as it's set right in, and Smith the save. Puck ends up in behind the net, and Bodker there to retrieve. Mikhail Bodker looking to set it, sends it around. Gagne in the corner. Now in behind the net, Ladies are gonna go after it here. Lucas Lessio content to move it all the way back through center ice. Oh, big Dustin Bufflin was coming across for the big hit there on Sam Gagne. Got to have your head on a swivel when the big man Bufflin is on the ice. 6'5", 265 pounds. Big buck. A played in behind that. Little goes after it for Winnipeg. Sends it behind it for Andrew Ladd and it pops in front before Vitaly will clear it out. Well, the Coyotes will get it back to center ice. Joe Vitale, nice little chip and chase, but he lost it. It's turned the other way for Blake Wheeler. Before that goes off his stick. And guess who's got it? It's Joe Vitale. Right to the net. He shoots and a stop that time by Andre Pavlik. Wow, look at how far Pavlik was out on that shot by Joe Vitale. Nothing to shoot at. That's where you got to shoot at the pads, maybe, and hope for a juicy rebound. As we take a look at big Dustin Bufflin as a defenseman this year, four goals, seven assists. As a forward, 26 games, he's got 11 points. He prefers to be a defenseman, logs big minutes. You can only see more of the ice back there, but he can do it all. And you can do it all when you're the size of Dustin Bufflin. Really imposes his will on opponents. Got one of the hardest shots in the NHL as well. I don't think Paul Maurice has much of a choice considering all of the injuries that have uh, taken place on Winnipeg's blue line. Well, he demands ice time because of how he plays. He's so good, you want him out there in every situation. Good board battle here, Peluso. Taking it away is a Shane Doan, and he'll clear it back to center ice. I want a Stanley Cup as well in Chicago. Chicago, I'm sure, would have loved to keep him. He was a big part of that Stanley Cup winning team. But really, they couldn't afford him. They had to cut payroll, and Bufflin was one of those guys that had to go. He went to Atlanta along with uh, Andrew Ladd and Ben Eager. Doan trying to pop it to the front. He had Martin Erat, now Doan behind the net. To the line it goes Gormley to Connor Murphy with a shot. That trickles right to the glove of Andre Pavlik. Well, tonight on Fox Sports Live, Aaron Rodgers says he's a go for Sunday. Despite his ailing cap, Jay Glazer joins us to explain how he'll fare against Dallas. It's a Stanley Cup Finals rematch. Rangers at the games tonight. We go one-on-one -on -one with Urban Meyer days before he coaches in his third championship game. All that tonight on Fox Sports Live. Murphy tries to set it in behind the net. Kyle Chipchura down low. Kyle, Coyotes are just dominating in the face-off circle right now. We talk about compete. Paul Maurice cannot be happy with the compete level and the decision-making of the Jets so far here tonight. 
Smart play by Reeder to angle it off from Froelich there. And Matthew Perot is set it behind the net, Froelich. Now uh, Froelich with a shot, goes right through the crease. And Kyle Chatur is going to move it out, maybe a two-on-one. Reeder holds up, hits the trailer, Korpakoski leaves it for Reeder, and it's set wide, and a wraparound nearly put home by Kyle Chipchura. Turnovers, how many two-on-ones? That's the second two-on-one we've seen in the first 10 minutes of this first period. Defensive coverage, little over-aggressive play by the Jets is costing them. Sam Gagne gets it across center. Easy read on Andrew Ladd, but it's lost, and Ladd will move it out. Little now plays in behind the net for Blake Wheeler. Mikel Bodker for the corner. Sent it in behind the net. Summers left it there. Ladd now back out high. And a shot taken that time by Postman just sent one. Now another chance. Ladd in front. Good defensive play that time with a stick by Chris Summers. And here's Gagne up the ice again. Well, now a partial breakaway. Kanye has it, left wing corner, dishes it, it's set just wide of the mark by Lesio. Now Lucas Lesio in behind the net. Gonna set it up against Party, gave it down low for Gagne. Now Gagne to Lesio, point blank shot and Pavlik the save. Lucas Lesio with all sorts of looks here in the opening period. Welcome back, this is our mid first bank on ice leader, a couple look at both Coyote goals, both on the power play. Mikhail Bodker makes no mistake putting that one far down for his 10th of the year. And then again on the power play, what a feed by the captain, Shane Doan, on and off the stick of Oliver Ekman Larson. No chance on the play for Pavlik. And there's one of the guys we talked about. Mikhail Bodker, Oliver Ekman Larson, Shane Doan, three guys that have to step it up offensively. Get the job done, and they have done that here early in this game. Yeah, the captain's got a lot of jump here in the opening minutes of this hockey game. Great to see Mikel Bacher convert. Oliver ekman Larson has been deadly at the side of the net. We've seen that all year long, and we saw it here tonight on his 11th. So the Coyotes and Jets face it off to the right of Andre Pavlik. 2-0, Coyotes leading it. Coming away with it, though, Michael Froelich. Chips it in. Angled off by Michael Stone, and it comes around for Erat. Erat, nice follow-up there before he loses control that time to Mark Shifley. Jets set it up, Bogosian. And he'll move it back through center ice. Shifley in over the line. Mark Shifley with a shot up high, and getting that one was Smith, and Shifley going hard to the net. Well, he goes hard to the net and clips Mike Smith, yeah. I believe, right? On the chin. What a bomb, though, by Shifley. Just ripped out. I think that caught Mike Smith a little bit off guard. Maybe a little bit back on his heels. No rebound, though, on the play. And there's a look at it. Shifley just goes right, bumps right into Mike Smith. I not believe he was pushed at all. I mean, that's, that's got to be addressed at some point, I would think. That's a missed ball there by the referee. Mike Smith is having words with him. Maybe gave the, the sell job a little bit, but nonetheless, goalies are off limits. By the way, a change on the first to Coyotes goal. It was Bodker from Ekman, Larson, and Verbet. It's now Bodker from Doan and Verbet. So the captain in on both goals here tonight, both coming on the power play. Yeah, I believe. That shot from Oliver Eichmann Larson hit the captain in front. Brandon McMillan. Get now, rewarded for standing in front, paying a price. Absolutely. This one is played back into the corner to the front of the net. It's underneath Smith. And they get a whistle here and more hacking and whacking. And boy, the, the Jets are really going to the heart hard of the front of the net. Hallis, Chuck now, and Summers grabbing a hold of one another. Wow, they've come out flat. They need a spark here. They're trying to energize their bench. Well, the first 5,000 fans, first 5,000 kids, excuse me, through the gate Saturday when the Coyotes host the Senators will get a free drawstring jersey backpack courtesy of Pepsi. Get your tickets for this special Coyotes Kids Day game at ArizonaCoyotes.com or call 480-563-PUNK. It's all about the kids, man. And, and, and by the way, Tyson, normally Saturday home games are 6 o'clock, but... 
I love it. This is a 5 o'clock game on Saturday against Ottawa. 5 o'clock. I love it. For the puck drop. Earlier, the better. Players don't have a pregame skate, more of a family type atmosphere. Because everybody can get to a game and get home and get those little buggers back in net. Or in bed, excuse me. <laughs> what, the kids sleep in nets? What? Are you, what? <laughs> I, I like the afternoon games too. I, I'd love to see some one o'clockers. Well, That's like just I'm me sleeping right now. <laughs> talking in my sleep. Holy <laughs> spin it out, kid. <laughs> oh. So look at Michael Stone right there. Big points. Last season, eight goals. Playing alongside Keith Yandel. And he'll play against his brother Mark on Saturday when yeah. Otto was here. I think the big thing with Stone is that he's trying to be a little bit more offensive, but when you're Paired up with a guy like Oliver Ekman Larson, you really gotta, or excuse me, Keith Yandel, you gotta stay back. You gotta be more defensive, have more of a defensive mindset, and let Keith kind of do his thing. There's a takeaway, Shively to the front, and sent over the top of the net by Froley. Great setup that time, Connor Murphy, rough right on Shively in the corner. Jets come away with it. Now that's a missed opportunity there by Froley. Not even a shot on net, glorious scoring opportunity. Jets have seven shots so far. The Coyotes 11. Coyotes with a couple of power play goals in case you're joining us late. Mikkel Bonker, number 10 on the season. Oliver ekman Larson, number 11. And both on the power play. Set in and wrapped in behind the net. Now Peluso with a shot. It was blocked away partially by Kyle Chipsura. Taken away back at center ice and dumped right back in by Hallis Chuck. Here's the heavy... A checking line out right now for Paul Maurice. Now Lowry in behind the net, sends it around to the line. Opportunity here for Postma. And Postma through the crease, but he well, can't set it up that time. He was looking for Matt Hallis jump. Another two on one. And Bonker drops it. Holding on to it is Chipsura. Cuts behind the net. And out of the line. Yandel. And across for Summers. Got one off, and that goes. Off the glove hand of T.J. Galliardi. Oh, that's a rough shift there for Galliardi. He blocks a shot, takes it in the hand, and it gets run over in the corner. Oh, well, here's a look at that play. aggressive by the Jets. Postma in to try and create a little bit more offense as they're down 2-0 in this game. Another odd man rush. That's probably the fifth odd man rush up the ice. Fourth, excuse me, I was told by our stats man. Russ. Russ is on fire tonight. He's been tossing the stats nuggets over here. Right and left in the opening 13 minutes. He's always red hot, though. Yeah, Golden Nuggets. Makes one of the three of us up here. Paul Postma. This one gets past Summers and all the way back. Boss has it. Back it over the line. Chips it into the corner. But after it goes Blake Wheeler. So Wheeler gives it to Ben Sherratt. Stretch pass for Andrew Ladd up on the left wing side. He'll look to hit a streaking Wheeler. That's taken away by Martin Erat. The Coyotes will chip it out. Uh, two quick passes and out of the zone they go. There's been really very little sustained pressure by the Jets whatsoever in this first period. Court battles, defensive coverage. Pavlik has stood in his head here in this hockey game. Because of all the other point blankers. Yeah, point blankers is right. Two two on ones. A partial breakaway. We get Paul Maurice in his 17th season as a head coach. Really implemented a, a better defensive style system. And this team has, has bought into it for a good majority of the year. That's why they have 47 points. Just not in sync here tonight. He ran in over the line on a feed from Dome. They set it for Vermette. Back out high. Stone on loads of shot. And that misses everything. Good keep of the line, though. Martin Erat will take it down low. Now Erat in behind the net. Back out high. Stone. Ekman Larson. Now the Coyotes unable to keep the zone, and it's cleared back to center. Stone gets it right back in over the line. And hit the outside of the net. 
cut by Lesio. Smart play to work it down low. Bufflin is there. And pops in front. They're just going to let Pavlik cover this one up. 2 nothing Coyotes. A pair of power play tells. Mike Sanders and Ford seats for Soldier tonight. Master Sergeant Peggy Schmidt currently with the 161st Logistics Readiness Squadron of the Phoenix Air National Guard. 28 years of great service, previously deployed in Turkey and Qatar. Uh, she answered the call to service and she's a family service oriented. Thank you so much for your service, uh, Peggy. And the great uh, military night t-shirts given away here at Gila River Arena. And, and Tyson, I know we kid a lot about Canada and the U.S. back and forth with the hockey and everything, but what a big shout out to all the men and women in military north of the border, our great friends in Canada as well. Uh, you talk about a wonderful partnership between the United States and Canada. I figured I'd throw that out with the Winnipeg Jets here in town, but uh, uh, certainly our hearts go out to them as well as we get a whistle here on the offside. Uh, 100 percent. An agreement with that statement for once. There's a big Air Force base located near Winnipeg. Uh, when the Jets did their rollout, uh, they were heavily involved with that. And uh, two great countries for sure. Yeah. Yes, indeed. We got a good battle on our hands here. As well, five minutes ago in this first period, all Coyotes. Played in by Bogosian, who's back in the lineup tonight. Knocked behind on the backhand by Stone and wrapped around as Reeder will try to poke it back to center. How good has this line been with Chipchura, Korpakoski, and Reeder? Draw a couple penalties. And Kyle Chipchura is one of those guys you can move around your lineup. So versatile. Center wing really doesn't matter. Yeah, Korpakoski played center the other night. I didn't think it was great without Martin Hansel. And mind you, you're not going to replace a Martin Hansel in your lineup. No McCulloch here tonight as well, but lots of guys have stepped up. Lad hacking away on Joe Vitale. And the puck will be moved to the line, and the Coyotes will try to get it out. All over it is Dave Moss. And now it's freed by Oliver ekman Larson. He'll weave through traffic and backhand one deep. Now he goes to the bench. Dave Tippett has changed the defensive pairings as well. Michael Stone playing with Oliver ekman Larson, and Chris Summers playing with Keith Yandel. That's the absence of Zabinik McCulloch. Dumped right back in by Shifley. Penalty coming up here. They're going to get the Coyotes' delayed call. Matthew Perot has it. Got it across. Now Party with it. Into the corner for Bufflin. Party back of the line. Now Wheeler. Out high. Bufflin shoots and a stop by Smith. It's loose in front. And finally the Coyotes able to gain possession. Interference is going to be of the call. Well, just a reminder, when the Coyotes win, you win at Papa John's. The day after every Coyotes win, celebrate with 50% off your online order at PapaJohns.com by typing in promo code COYOTES. And here is the penalty. Well, they just get that puck in deep, and the Coyotes run a little bit of interference. Winnipeg's going to get that loose puck. Antoine Vermette, the guilty party. Big part of this penalty kill unit, too, which, as I mentioned earlier, is the league worst 30th. Chance to work on it here tonight, get the job done. They don't want to give anything back right now. Big key here is Brian Little to work it down. Hitting the outside of the net was Blake Wheeler. Big hit along the boards there, Joe Vitale. He's one of the penalty killers. Stone also out there as he is all over Wheeler behind the net. And this one is covered up by Mike Smith. And now Stone and Little having words. And Dave Moss comes in to say enough. Lots of little scrums after yeah. whistles here. That's probably part of it is the spanking. The Coyotes took here in their home opener. I believe it was 6-2 in that hockey game. Mike Smith trying to freeze that puck. And Vlad right there with Michael Stone. A little jumping in as well. I like it. it. Brings out the best in the Coyotes when they're engaged physically in a hockey game. Well, I would it has so. to. After you know getting whitewashed the other night by St. Louis, it, it, it really does engage you. It, 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 I think this plays into the hands of the Coyotes. One shot so far on this Winnipeg power play. 3:14 remaining in the opening period. And the Coyotes will take this one away and they'll skate it out. Al Chaptura gets it across center and he brings it in short-handed. Chaptura taking a bit of a run there from uh, Andrew Ladd. 
Comes all the way back to center. And Korpikoski will chip it up the boards. Korpikoski and Chipchura, excellent penalty killing right now before it's stripped away by Wheeler. And now Wheeler just dipping that shoulder went to the net. Oh, completely fearless. Blake Wheeler taking that puck hard to the net, showing his speed. Buffalo across, and a shot on, they score. No goal. And no goal, and they're all over Mike Smith again. Oh, I and guess. I, lo I love the response here tonight by the Coyotes. Whenever somebody even breathes on Smith, they're all over the Winnipeg play. Well, great call here by referee Steve Kazari. Blake Wheeler all over Mike Smith in net. Here is the speed we talked about going hard to the net. Chris Summers says, have a seat. And then Blake Wheeler goes right to the front. You look at the battle. No stick by Wheeler. Mike Smith unable to make that save because of Wheeler in front. Yeah, and the delayed penalty earlier, as you take a look at Blake Wheeler. Big cross check yeah, there. They, they don't get Chris Wheeler Summers. on the cross check, but it was Chris Summers at the other end of the ice with the original roughing minor. It didn't seem like there was contact as that puck crossed the goal line, but the contact did come before before Mike Smith allowed that puck. They're, they're saying inadvertent contact on goaltender Mike Smith. I'm sure Dave Tippett doesn't agree with the interpretation. That it didn't look well, I'm sure he agrees with the no goal call on the play, so yeah, he'll, oh, oh, he'll, for sure. he'll take that. But Chris Summers, the only one going to the box, that's what I don't understand. That's just a good old-fashioned battle in front with Wheeler and Summers. And you see Mike Smith trying to kick out that right leg and get his blocker up, and Wheeler... So, the well, the inadvertent cancels off the goal, but it doesn't warrant a penalty. Meanwhile, Summers, prior to that, on the delayed call, he's in the box for roughing, and it comes at 17-23. Well, the Coyotes will take that trade off all day long, but they have a five on three. Coming up with Vermette and Chris Summers in the box. Summers, in fact, just went right to the locker room. Not sure if he got on. They're going to need somebody to serve that penalty, and it looks like it's going to be Martin Erat heading over to the uh, penalty box. And we are being told just uh, two minutes for roughing, and it's got an equipment problem, I believe. Is must be an equipment. Chris, yeah. Chris Summers. I thought he might have got a 10 minute misconduct a lot with that minor, but whoa, well, lots of ice out here for Winnipeg. Keep your eye on big number 33, Bufflin. A huge shot from the point. Scrum off the faceoff, and the Jets come away with it. Wheeler has it. Too much room up high. Shoots and a stop. Coyotes will try to get it out, but they can. Now Brian Little with it. To Dustin Bufflin. Blake Wheeler looking around. Intercepted that time, and Stone will clear it down the length of the ice. That is a gift by Blake Wheeler to Michael Stone trying to thread the needle on a five-on-three. You see the statistic at the top of your screen there is this one's going to be played back and we get a whistle and an icing call now icing. against Winnipeg. That shows you on a power play, you can't afford mistakes like that. You're trying to get back in the hockey game. Blake Weider just trying to have a little cute play in the offensive zone. And here's a look at the icing play, just an error pass. Michael Stone at the line, and now he'll send it deep. And Perot will set it up for the Winnipeg Jets. 26 to go in the five on three. In over the line goes Wheeler. And around the boards, as Little will try to move it back out high. Coyotes all over the puck, so is Dustin Bufflin. Joe Vitale ties up the man, and now coming away is Perot. He'll give it to Wheeler. Wheeler sets it up for the Jets with seven to go on the five on three. To Bufflin with a shot, and he sent it over the top of the net. Now holding it back out high. Across it goes for Little. Vermette's out of the box. A shot deflected that time off Stone. Coyotes can't clear. It goes right to Bufflin. Five on four for 43. To the front, a shot and a stop. That time oh, by another Smith. Another penalty coming up. It's going to be Stone closing his hand on the puck. That's a tough one. 
you, you love the idea, but Arizona penalty, Michael Stone two minutes closing his hand is on trying to sell it to the referee that he just swatted at it, but it's clearly he grabs it and then throws it. Off the rebound, grabs it there and yeah. then throws it. That's a good call again by the referee. I'm sure if Michael Stone sees the replay, which he's trying to do on the Jumbotron, he would agree. And again, the Coyotes back on the kill in 37 seconds. So way we get a whistle here because uh, the time is on the wrong side. We're going to sort it out here. And it's a five on three for 37 seconds. Closing the hand on the puck is the call against Stone at 18.47. Or excuse me, Winnipeg cannot be happy with the movement on their five on three. Not enough shots, not enough traffic, not enough of really everything. So they're going to want to make amends here with 37 seconds to go in the five on three. Well, they got it right on the scoreboard, so 37 seconds in the five on three. Huge draw here. Antoine Vermette can't win this one. Bogosian now. He gets checked off the puck by Vermette, and it's down the ice. So 25 to go in the five on three. He's running into some penalty trouble here late in the period with under a minute remaining. Proliko play it in behind the net and around the boards. Good chip along by Gormley and out to center. Three Winnipeg shot, shots on this sequence here on the power play. Comes to the front. Korpakoski is on it. But now played to the line by Bufflin. Bufflin shoots and a stop there by Smith. Erat is out of the box. He was serving the Summers minor, and the Coyotes will kick it out of the zone back to center. Oh, this is a real rough power play by Winnipeg. Now they go offside. It's now five on four, and Mike Smith, how about those big saves he made early yeah. in that power play, but then Winnipeg is just killing themselves here, giving themselves zero opportunities, too cute with their passing selection. No shots, no one of nothing. Minute 15 left of the minor to Michael Stone. 28.7 to go in the period. Coyotes trying to get the to get to the break. As it's played by Yandel, and he'll clear it up the ice and down the boards. Weston Bufflin being pursued by Joe Vitale. There's got to be a tired crew here, too, on the power play. They've been out here the entire time. Matthew Perot played it in over the line offside. We get a whistle. They're going to bring it all the way down here with 7.5. Well, three things you need to know about our upcoming intermission. Todd will take over, and he'll uh, chat with one of our goal scorers, Mikel Bach, who got the uh, Coyotes off and running early tonight. Tim Waters will join Jody Jackson up on the Coyotes live set in another edition of Nasher Knowns. Off the faceoff, Vitaly will send it to the corner. Bufflin's just going to let the clock expire, and that's it. What a start here tonight. Not only for the Coyotes on the power play, but how about the penalty kill unit? So far, so good. There will be 46 seconds of carryover time left in the Stone Minor into that second period, but a 180 from what we saw the other night when St. Louis was here. Special teams and Mike Smith goaltending. I mean, that's the key to everything. Mike Smith with some real big saves to keep the lead at two, and then the special teams, two power play goals, and this penalty kill has been outstanding, a league worst. We talked about that. Still, though, Blake Wheeler, or excuse me, the, the Coyotes killing this penalty, 46 seconds to start the second period. Shots on goal through one, Coyotes had 12, and the Jets 11. And a pair of power play goals from Bodker and Ekman Larson have given the Coyotes a 2-0 lead. Stick around, Todd Walsh chats with Mikel Bodker when we return to Eagle River Arena. First intermission of Coyotes hockey was presented by Jack in the Box. The Chipotle Chicken Club combo is back at Jack in the Box for a limited time. Todd Walls back here at Gila River Arena. As always, a chance to visit with uh, one of the members of the Coyote coaching staff tonight. It's Jim Playfair and, and Jim. A lot of ingredients to the success of that period. But just first and foremost, this the jump and the ability to get behind Winnipeg. How pleased were you? Well, I think first of all, when you hit the power plays, the opportunities we had, and it, and it looked so good as you know scoring two quick goals. <laughs> We moved pucks out of our zone very well. I thought we did a good job through the neutral zone, getting behind their defense and uh, getting some penalty trouble there. We've done a good job so far of killing penalties. How pleased were you just to 
in, in protecting the house, as they say. We just took a look at the graphic. I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive from our standpoint. How about yours? Well, it's something we've certainly spent a lot of time and energy on as a group. And I think when you get the young kids that we have back in the fence really trying to be good, hard competitors, I thought they did a good job of, of digging in and playing harder around our net. And that's going to be the result, I think, if they can continue to do that. We'll be in good shape. All right. Good luck. All right. My pleasure. Walter. All right. Jim Playfair. Let's go up to the broadcast booth. Matt and Tyson with a, a closer look at it. Guys, let's crunch the numbers, shall we? Yeah, let's do that, Todd. And the numbers through one. Winnipeg without a single scoring chance in the period. And, and the other number, how about the special teams, the Coyotes? And I mentioned 46 seconds left in the penalty time to Michael Stone entering the second. But Winnipeg so far without a sniff, really, on the power play. Coyotes are, are two for two. Well, you look at the power play time that Winnipeg has had. Not one scoring chance in that first period for the Jets. Six for Arizona. They've been all over it. It's all about that compete level. And as Jimmy Playfair talked about, digging in. I mentioned the penalty kill, and it was terrific. And late in the period, it had to be sharp. Oh, did it ever. It's all about sticks in lanes. A turnover there by Blake Wheeler. That's a gift to Michael Stone. He gets it all the way down the ice. Coyotes really tightening things up. A missed opportunity by Winnipeg. They missed the net and blocks. Michael Stone again getting involved. He goes to the box for that one. But Mike Smith was lights out. He was shelled the other night for six. He has been really, really solid here in the first period. And he's going to have to continue that to kill the next 46 seconds off of Michael Stone's penalty to start this second period. Yeah, Mike Smith the other night, he, he led in six, but... Dave Tippett talked about that after the game. He said, I don't think we had so much of a goaltender problem that we had an in front of the goaltender problem. And he was really calling out his D. They were terrific in the opening 20 here tonight. We'll see if they can carry it over here into the second. Well, now I, I don't see a single problem on this Coyotes team and on that bench right now. Dave Tippett obviously has a problem with the referees. I think Dave Tibbet is talking with one of our officials about that play in front of goaltender Mike Smith. He probably saw the video of between periods. Talking to Gord Dwyer. So we are set here for the second period. Michael Stone with 46 seconds left on his penalty for closing his hand on the puck. And the penalty killers out there to begin Summers with Moss Vitale and Oliver ekman Larson, and the Jets will set it up. Keep an eye, as always, on Dustin Bufflin, number 33, White, for that big shot from the point. This one's knocked away, and Vitaly will get it outside the zone with under a half a minute remaining in the Jets' power play. Another outstanding stick there by Vitaly. And Mike Smith does it all on his own that time, getting that puck all the way down the ice. Mike Smith has struggled playing the puck. In my mind, he was still the big reason for that first goal the other night against the St. Louis Blues. Confidence is a big part of it. Down to eight to go on the penalty to Stone and playing it back and over the line, Brian Little. And Mike Smith will find the outlet again and he clears it out. And Michael Stone is out of the box. He'll stay on. Played right back in by Shane Doan. Finds Antoine Vermette. Tried to get it across that time for Martin Erat. Down to the line and Connor Murphy with a shot. And that deflects off Andre Pavlik and over the glass and out of play. The Coyotes, after that kill, you talk about it, you can build some serious momentum, both on a power play or the penalty kill, if you get the job done. And they got more than the job done there. Really sucked the life out of that Winnipeg Jets bench. Now time to generate more offense. Six scoring chances in that first period. They'd love to build on that. Way back of the line, and Chris Summers will send one to the net. And a stop that time. I don't know if that, that might have gone off the bar as it's played across. Now Summers will pinch down low as he sends it in behind the net. Lucas Lesio, I thought, had a very strong opening period. He's back out there to the line Yandel. That was blocked away, and the Jets will bring it out. Peluso now, and over the line for Halischuk, and his shot is steered by Smith and off the netting. We've been talking a lot about the goaltenders. We've been talking a lot about Andre Pavlik. I don't know if it's a goalie controversy, but the numbers for Michael Hutchinson so far since he's come onto the scene, Tyson, have been very, very impressive. Well, it's not a goalie controversy when they're both ham and egging it. They're both getting it done. They both have 10 wins. And when your team is sitting at 47 points, that is good. You're going to need contributions from both goaltenders. On, I don't care what team you're on. Right now, Winnipeg is getting that. 
Now, Pavlik started just one of the last six Jets games, but it sounds like Paul Maurice wants to pretty much go back and forth with them, especially on this trip that continues over the weekend in Los Angeles and at Anaheim. Well, and that's typically what happens as the season kind of comes to the nitty-gritty, to the grind. You, you tend to go with one goaltender and, and ride them. Who that goaltender is going to be, you would have, yeah, thought initially it would be Pavlik, but Hutchinson playing so well, healthy competition. Shifley's shot is blocked, and it goes back into the neutral zone. Jay Harrison, who was acquired from Carolina, will try to move it out, and Shifley has it for Winnipeg. Up on the left wing side in a one-on-one -on -one against Connor Murphy. He drops it in a shot on. Smith made the save. And it bounces all the way back to the Winnipeg blue line. Shifley again. On left wing. And he'll get it right back through center. In over the line for Perot. Nice move. Goes to the backhander. Save that time off the pad by Smith. And he's chipping in behind the net. Now for leak on the wide curl. Connor Murphy without a stick. Coyote's going to try to get it out of harm's way, and oh. Shane Doe that time sends it right to the referee, trying to clear it that time, and he goes back to see if he's okay. Oh, Shane Doe knew right away. Maybe off and the elbow. Thank goodness the referee had elbow pads on that one because Shane Doan rifles this puck off the glass right here. The referee knows it's coming. All you can do is just make yourself as small as humanly possible and pray. That one hits him right in the arm. Ouch. Ice bag hockey for the referees as well. Yeah, they do a great job night in and night out. Played into the corner. Ben Sherratt. Think about in the line of fire. Yeah. Play back it over the line. Andrew Ladd holds up. He rattle take it away, and it's sent around the boards. Antoine Vermette and Dustin Buffalo in a battle for the Blues puck. Wheeler down there as well for Winnipeg, and it's cleared out. This will be an icing call against the Coyotes. Well, the Pepsi Saturday Night Family Pack returns against the Senators as part of the Coyotes Kids Day. Get four tickets, four Pepsis, and four hot dogs starting at just $119. Purchase yours today at ArizonaCoyotes.com or call it 480-563-PUCK. By the way, normally 6 o'clock for Saturday night games. This Saturday, 5 p.m. So make your plans accordingly. He's played in behind the net. Michael Stone that time trying to take it off Matt Halischuk's stick, and it finally pops free where Ekman Larson will look to move it up the board. It's good pressure here by Winnipeg. And if I can offer one thing, get down here, enjoy what Westgate has to offer. A little sunshine on your bones. Yeah. Toss a few smiles around. Life, You're good at that. Life is good. Oliver ekman Larson clears it back and over the line. Dome goes after it, and Pavlik will steer it. There's still not a better arena setup in the entire NHL than what Arizona has here. You walk outside after a hockey game or before a hockey game, that's what you're walking out to. Palm trees, the water fountains, restaurants, shops. It's like going to your house. <laughs> Played into the corner. Easy handle. That is a great setup. Five like, o'clock again. I was going to say it's like going to your house, but I've never been invited. You didn't get the memo? <laughs> Martin, you're at? I'll bring my own food and drinks. That might be a start. Puck played into the corner. See what we can do. And now out of the zone and back to center ice. Jim Slater will backhand one in. After it is Chris Thorburn. Slater and Thorburn have been a pair for a long time. Not only in Winnipeg, but back to the days of Atlanta. McMillan with it. Let's one rip and a stop that time by Pavlik and a loose puck. Runs up into the corner where Moss will go after I it. love that shot selection by McMillan right at the pads. Gormley with a shot wide. And there's a rebound. There's a second opportunity. As you talk to any coach, you want to create opportunities and offense. That's how you do it. And here's a look at it. McMillan gets the puck, no hesitation. He just throws it low. Couple inches off the ice and there's the rebound with Sam Gagne going hard to the net that's the fifth odd man rush now for the Coyotes in this hockey game and they generated five shots because of it Postma off the face off for the Jets back to center ice Smithle 
A play of this up the boards, and he stretches it out for Toby Reeder. And a glove save there by Pavlik, and he gets rid of it quickly. Shively going to try to get it out. Challenged by Chipchura. Jets back through center. Good cutoff move there by Reeder. And now it's picked off, and Michael Froelich over the line. Froelich with a shot, and a stop there by Smith. I think he might have gotten the left pad on that one. Shively now. Froelich has it. Shoots, and that was blocked. Good positioning there by Smith. Comes out high, Bogosian, and he'll take a shot, and that's handled by Smith, and he'll get a face-off. Let's take a look at our Coors Light cold hard facts here tonight. Vila River Arena. Comes to wins and losses. We talked about this tonight on a Coyotes Live. The largest differential in terms of goals per game between the wins and the losses. So in wins, take the average and minus it by the losses. The Coyotes uh, right up there at 2.4. The losses have been big losses at times this year for the Coyotes. The win's uh, pretty much the same. We saw a 6-3 win here the other night when Columbus was in town. They win big. They win big. Erat with room over the line. Got it to Vermette. He takes a shot and a stop by Pavlik. Great setup there by Martin Erat for Antoine Vermette. Knocked away that time. Yandel and the puck goes up the ice. And an icing call here against the Arizona Coyotes. Well, we haven't really seen a whole lot of the speed of the Winnipeg Jets. In fact, it's been the Coyotes that have really been bringing it to Winnipeg. Nice chance there for Antoine Vermette. He ran a beautiful pass onto the tape of Vermette. Left pad shoots out on Pavlik. And just Schwartz lays her eye center view from the ice. Good looking view there. Pavlik has been Real good, not allowing the Coyotes to take a 3-0 lead. Big save after big save. We talked about the speed of Winnipeg. We haven't seen it because the Coyotes are taking care of the neutral zone, Matt. 2-0 Coyotes, couple of power play goals in the opening period. Todd Walsh on the bench with Dave Moss. Dave, we've seen odd man rushes, second chance opportunities. What is it about your game tonight, this team's game, that's creating these things? We're getting pucks behind their demon. Their D are really aggressive on the forecheck, and we're just getting pucks behind them. We're doing a good job supporting it, and we're, we're getting chances that way. How about protecting the house and your goalie tonight? How, how big has that been? It's huge. We've uh, we done a pretty good job killing some big penalties and, and coming back and making sure if they get shots, Smitty can see them, and, and they're to the outside, and he's done a great job. Thanks, Dave. You got it. Guys? All right, thanks a lot, Todd. And uh, not a single house from, or not a single shot, I should say, from inside that house for Winnipeg in the opening period. Now, done a real good job. Defensive coverage. No practice yesterday. And they look fresh here tonight. Jets trying to turn it up with the checking line. Jim Slater down low in the corner. Peluso as well. And it ends up in behind the net where Sam Gagne will take it away. And it looks like a, an interference call coming here. Possibly against Keith Yandel. I'm not sure who's getting the penalty. Keith Yandel. Giving it to Thorburn as makes his way slowly to the penalty box. That's right. 100% <laughs> agree with that one. That's just physical <laughs> hockey by Keith Yandel trying to step up his game and continues to work on the defensive part. Pretty weak call as Dave Tippett looks at the Jumbotron. Hockey's a physical game. Skate around with eggs in your pockets. Jets over three with four shots on goal so far. They had that flurry of power plays late in the opening period. Perot will take it down low, gets it out high. Here's a shot by Little, and that whistles wide. The Coyotes will scoop it away, and here they come. Out of the zone, Moss try to move it along for Joe Vitale. And now back in over the line, Ladd just kind of quit on the play that time against Michael Stone. Oh, he got stood up by Michael Stone. That's a great play there. You look at Ladd, who's coming in with all sorts of speed right at the chest. You don't get fooled at the dipsy doodle of the puck. Look at the chest, take the body. Wheeler's shot, batted away by Mike Smith. Now Wheeler down low, works it out high, and right there was Ladd, but it's taken away, but not cleared. Jets keep the zone. Wheeler now. Working it to the front. The coverage. Buffalo has it. Little now down low. Wheeler looking to try to feather one in front that time for Perot. 
Puck played to the line, but not out. Perot now for Bufflin. Now holding on to it is Wheeler for Bufflin behind the net. This one's going to be taken away and backhanded down the length by Lori Korpakoski. Got tremendous coverage on the penalty kill unit. There's one man open. It's kind of like that gopher game where you used to bonk him on the head when the gopher pops up. Well, the Coyotes are playing on the penalty kill right now. Outstanding. It was a great game. I love that. Tough to find the open man. Tough, Tough to probably find that game these days. Tough to find the goal for the ball. <laughs> Play it out. And Erat will dump it all the way back in. That's a terrible analogy, by the way. <laughs> I was reaching that. I liked it. Play back to center, Shifley. The bonking gopher. Played into the corner, Shifley now. Maybe somebody will hashtag that. Throw leak into the corner. Penalty is over. So Yandel will race back into the play. Lowry behind the net. Feeds it to the line. With it is Postman. A little wrist shot blocked away, and it's cleared out as the puck will go all the way back into the Jets zone. All the way back. Chasing it down is Stone, and we get a whistle here on the icing call against the Jets. Boy, the penalty kill here tonight, Tyson. Well, here we go. Another look at it. Great job by the Coyotes. Who's open? Wheeler's looking for somebody. Sees a man open. You got half a second to move that puck before a Coyote closes in on him. Mike Smith does a great job as well, taking away another passing lane as Bufflin tries to throw that puck out front. And that's what it's all about. Guy gets open, you pounce on him. You take it away. And you allow that penalty power play man to look for another option. Gormley blasted one there that hit a body. Puck into the corner. Lesio after it. Now it's cleared away and out. Now Yandel's going to have to race after it. Nice little pull-up move there by Anthony Peluso. Thorburn will skate it into the left wing corner as he dumps behind the net. So right back out there, that fourth line of Thorburn, Peluso, and Slater. And I think head coach Paul Maurice is is sensing something, wants a little more energy probably, as this one is played back to the front. Alessio just trying to get a stick on it, but he couldn't come away with it. And Slater will send it out. I like Alessio's game so far here tonight. A couple real good scoring chances in that first period. One of the top scorers in Portland in the American Hockey League. Trying to provide a little bit of offense here, but he's got to make sure he get, makes his presence felt. Whether it's a hit, a goal, a block, you got to do whatever it takes to stay in the lineup. Played out of the zone, goes back to center Yandel. He did not do enough last time he was up, in my mind. And he wasn't up for very long either. As Little will move it along. That's why you want to make it impossible for the coaching staff to not be able to sit you out or send you down. It's simple. It's the responsibility of the, of the player. You want to stick around the NHL, you got to put a string of games together, boy. And there's a guy out there right now that knows that. It's yes. Kyle Chipsura. And it's Reeder. Tobias Reeder, Reeder well. is yeah. the guy. He got an opportunity, and he has not allowed Dave Tippett to sit him out again. Just took a bump on Andrew Ladd there, did Reeder. Set back in, and a little shot goes wide. Played in behind the net. Parole wrapping around, jamming it is Erat. Well, the Coyotes will get it through center. Doan over the line. Now Doan cutting in behind the net to the front, oh. and a chance there, but Erat couldn't get a shot away. Oh, good pick up there by Wheeler all over Erat. Or Erat would have a wide open net. Perot to the front, it's loose. And the Coyotes will clear it into the corner. Nice follow up there, Antoine Vermette. And it's Doan one on one. Over the line against Sherratt. Doan with a puck. And Sherratt and Doan bounce the bodies as Vermette will take it away. What a battle. What a game the captain has had here tonight against his former team, the team that drafted him, the Winnipeg Jets. He looks fresh as Wheeler will bring it over the line. Stood up that time by Ekman Larson, and he gets it right back, and a pad saves Smith. I guess you can't really say former team, but you know what I mean. <laughs> That's funny how records go. And now a turnover here rolls right to the front. Smith made the save. Ekman Larson wants to clear, and he'll get it back to center. And cleared all the way back. Zach Bogosian. Sent right back in. Smith will let it go. 
Alice struck down low. Chipped along by Ekman Larson. Good support by Joe Vitale. Brandon McMillan is in there as well. The line, Bogosian is shot just wide. That took a weird hop as it came off the end boards and back to the near side. And now McMillan. Clear to the line. Good keep, Bogosian. And McMillan will finally get it right back to center as we go down to 7.15 remaining in the second period. What a pace to this hockey game again. Another real solid second period out of the Coyotes. Good board battle, McMillan picking it up. That time was a Bobker with a shot wide. And Ogania just trying to get it to the front of the net. It'll be played around. And out with it goes Matt Halischuk to center. Real good example of if you play good defense, it leads to good offense the other way. Winnipeg really coming with a vengeance offensively, trying to create something. Lack of scoring chances we talked about, but it's led to odd man rushes again the other way in this period as well. Slater now moves it up for Thorburn. Two on two for the Jets as they bring it in. Over the line, opportunity in behind the net that time for Peluso. He got run over by Yandel. Now bounces right to the side and a stop there and they go hard again. Really hard. Well, they're chucking mitts. Keith Yandel takes a couple right on the chin. I believe that was Peluso. Wasn't happy with Keith Yandel running him over. Oh, there, there's that Thorburn Yandel battle that we saw earlier on. Thorburn, he'll drop the gloves with just about anyone. And that nose will attest to that. Keep the handle, though. Getting involved. Heating up at the river. Coyotes go back on the power play because of this play. Keep the end or runs Peluso into the end boards. Gives him a little bit of a, of a whack right there. And Peluso ends up taking a penalty here. You look at the punches Keith Yandel takes, and then Keith Yandel's had enough. He tries to separate the head of Thorburn off his body right there. I love it. Keith Yandel getting involved. They've been all over Mike Smith's crease here tonight. Yeah, Yandel's got Thorburn by the nostrils on that one. That's what you call a stinky mitt right there. Peluso for roughing Coyotes go to the power play. Chris Thorburn took boxing lessons, I know, when he played in Atlanta. But Larson will uh, set it up for Bonker, walks it in, he shoots it, it went wide. Yandel and Ekman Larson, the point man up front, Cone, Burbett, and Bonker. That's another Arizona lottery Powerball power play, as this one's going to be sent all the way back. Oh, slew foot. Yeah. That is a dangerous, dirty play. Right there by Jim Slater. Oliver so Ekman Larson. Go. Yeah, Oliver Ekman Larson has complete body coverage on Slater. And then Slater comes in, throws the foot around, and takes him down. Winnipeg 19, two minutes for tripping. Right there, elbow, whatever you want to call it. That is just a. Terrible penalty by Slater, already down a man. Stan Wilson might like that one, a little rope-a-dope there. Lasso around the neck. Have a seat, Oliver. And he would love to cash in here. And a five on three. We haven't seen the Coyotes go to a five on three in a long, long time. Lots of ice. Yeah, and here we go. The Coyotes were able to kill a couple of five on threes for Winnipeg late in that first period. Let's see if they can really cash in here. Back out high, but Larson with a shot. Rebound, it's in front of Pavlik, and he covers up. Pavlik has been so good for Winnipeg. After allowing two, neither of them his fault. Coyotes win a faceoff and pucks and people to the net. Shane Doan just anchors himself right in front and gets to that rebound. And I don't think that ever has a clear lane after that. It's the leg of big Dustin Bufflin. The end of that time was way down low as well as off the faceoff Coyotes control. Five on three, Ekman Larson. Minute 22 to go in the five on three. Into the corner, Gagne, back out high, and fanning out at that time was Ekman Larson, and it's played back at center. Well, Oliver Ekman Larson all alone, just a little too much sauce by Gagne. Still a lot of meat left on the bone in this two-man advantage for the Coyotes. 
Yandel has it with a minute to go in the five on three. Yandel whoops one to the front, and that went over the top. Gagne gets it back to the line, and holding on to it is Yandel. Yandel to Akron Larson steps into a shot. It has stopped that time. Oh, and Vermette was right there. Yeah, Dolan's got to get right in front, though, to screen Pavlik. Pavlik's seeing these shots. Gagne has it. 36 to go in the power play. Five on three power play, I should say. And across now, Yandel with a shot over the top. Ekman Larson has it. Coyotes would love to cash in on the first penalty here as this one is thrown to the front oh. and set wide. Oh. Set wide right off the pad of Havlik. What a save. Wow. Unbelievable, Matt. 15 to go in the five on three. And they'll move it over again. Reeder goes after it to the line. Keeping it is Stone for Yandel. Across now. Back to Stone. He shoots at a stop. Rebound. They score. And it's the captain, Shane Doan. What a night he's having. There is nothing more Pavlik can do. Shane Doan, Johnny on the spot, just battling, whacking and hacking in front of Pavlik, trying to solve the big goaltender. There's the shot, and there's the rebound. Hardy can't pick Shane Doan up in front. And he puts it into the empty net. Good shot by Michael Stone, hard and low. Keeping it away from Pavlik's glove so he can't freeze that puck. Happy for Shane Doan, a three-point night. Shane Doan tallies. And that was a five-on-four goal, so that means the Winnipeg Jets are back to full strength. In other words, that first penalty expired. But who who cares? Doan makes it a 3-0 a game, and the power play has been red hot here tonight in Glendale. Well, they can thank Jim Slater, too, for that one. Taking that extra penalty while killing a penalty. Now he's cashed in, made him pay. Shifley back of the line. Here's an opportunity and a save that time. And the net is knocked off. That's the save that the Coyotes need from Mike Smith. Shane Doan picking up the junk in front. 3-0 Coyotes. Todd Walsh back here at Gila River Arena. And guys, you're looking at Sean Burke up in the uh, in the press box level. His flight was late coming back from Toronto on Tuesday. Didn't get a chance to congratulate him, much less talk to him. But he comes back, of course, uh, as part of Team Canada on that gold medal winning experience in the World Juniors. What a game it was against Russia. I talked to Sean today. The conversation is up on Twitter. I don't know if you'll find a more decorated Canadian hockey player, a guy that's put on that sweater for his country more than Sean Burke over the course of his career at so many different levels but he played in 86 against Russia and lost that gold medal game it still is a very fresh memory in his mind and he was reminded of course of that as he watched his team win the gold he's from Toronto Ontario Canada and I asked him what it was like out there on the ice with old Canada and all the fans singing as one he said you know what it, it, it's just an emotional moment I never get tired of it. So congratulations to Sean Burke. And, and he also did mention this about Max Domi, guys. He said the leadership that Max is displaying not only on the ice but off is immediately evident upon his arrival to Toronto and Montreal for the World Juniors. Well, you know, that's great to hear, Todd. And uh, that's what uh, Dave Tippett said when uh, Domi went back to junior. Uh, congratulations to Sean Burke and Max Domi once again. What an effort. It's a great tournament. For sure. Great hockey to watch. Those young kids, how oh, yeah. talented they are. It's like a hockey factory north of the border that you guys produce on an annual basis. As this one is a play away, and looks like Brandon McMillan and Peluso go hard. And they may get pull. Or, let's see, is that no? That's Adam Lowry. I uh, beg your pardon, but it looks like he's going to the box, and they, the Coyotes we are going to go to another power play. For 40. Yeah, the Coyotes will take it. Just. Undisciplined hockey by the Winnipeg Jets, and Paul Maurice has to be pulling his hair out right now, hit from behind. You see the numbers. Yeah, you want to be more physical and try to create some energy and momentum, but that is not the way to do it. That is already with three power play goals here tonight in the hockey game. It's more confidence. So it's another Arizona Lottery Powerball power play. Coyotes had two power play goals in the opening period. They could get their second power play tally here in the second. 
Gagne has it. Trying to get it back to the line. Good takeaway play there by Brian Little, but the Coyotes keep the zone. Reader now. Reader across. Oh, and he tried to set it up that time for Lucas Lesio, and it's cleared out. Oh, a little bit too fancy. I would have liked to see Reader be a little bit more selfish there. Lesio's there for a rebound, but you got to shoot the puck. Comes back out high. Oliver Ekman Larson trying to set it up. Now Yandel goes after it. This one ends up on a deflection into the Winnipeg bench. Well, you watch Reeder take this puck to the net, and when you have speed, you can generate so much. And you look at Lesio, he pops way out, but good defense, good stick by Bufflin in front. That pass is too difficult. Let it go. Fake the pass, and roof job on Pavlik. Short side. It was open. Easier said than done from up here, though. I feel like Wayne Gretzky up here. <laughs> and he's shooting for their fourth power play goal. They have three power play goals in two of their last three games. Tyson, they went 170 games without a three power play goal game before this little stretch they're on. Well, the power play has been good, really, all year long. Very, very consistent for the most part. It's their penalty kill that has struggled, but the penalty kill has done the job here tonight. So far. Yandel and Stone is the point man. Doan up front with Vermette and Bodker. And now Michael Stone with 2.08 remaining in the period will set it up. Under a minute to go in the penalty to Lowry. Rink wide intended for Doan. That was deflected off the stick, I believe, of TJ Galliardi. Hey, Doan is just flying tonight. Played away and sent down the length of the ice. So the Coyotes have uh, yet to register a shot on goal. On this power play as Yandel will skate it out. Get over the line, looking for Korpikoski, taken away that time by Bufflin and set all the way down. And it's tough when that first unit didn't start this power play initially. You come on late in the power play and it's tough. You gotta kinda hit that reset button and once again get that puck into the offensive zone. Gormley's going to play it along the left-wing boards. He got stapled that time by Buffalo. And played out. Now maybe a two-on-one. Out of the box, Little with Lowry. He gets it over, and Lowry fanned on it. They could have timed that any better if you're the Winnipeg Jets. I would imagine, as this one is sent to the side of the net, covered up by Smith, I would imagine that Paul Maurice would want Brian Little shooting that puck. Yeah, again, just maybe a little overly fancy by both hockey clubs here. And if you're Winnipeg, you're trying to generate offense. Keep it simple. Make Mike Smith make a stop. Not enough scoring chances. Great playmaker here in Little, but a little bit too much sauce. Wobbling puck. Nothing Lowry could do on that play. And a little bit too tight as well. Mike Smith will take that all day long. That's one less shot that he doesn't have to stop. Race off to the right of Smith. With a minute four remaining in the second. Three power play goals tonight for the Coyotes. Bonker, Ekman Larson, and the captain, Shane Doan. Played all the way back. This rolls in on Smith. Into the corner where Blake Wheeler goes to work. Now the Coyotes will uh, try to move it out as it ends up in behind. And that's Summers after it. Shifley intercepts. Now Shifley to the front. Oh, and he tried to set it up for Wheeler. That was blocked away, and Corpacata, or excuse me, Chiptura will settle it down. Played off the glass by Chris Summers and up the ice, and we get an icing call here with 26.2 remaining in the second period. Well, three things you need to, about, need to know about our uh, second intermission here. Tom will chat with the captain, Shane Doan, with a three-point night working. We'll take a look ahead, and also another installment of Nasher Knows. Don't assisting on Bakker and Ekman Larson's tallies. Oh, what a block there by Korpakoski. And we haven't seen the big captain smile very often as of late. But he is smiling tonight. Chatura that time tried to break away to get the puck, but it's played in behind the net. And after it is Zach Bogosian. Eight seconds to go in the period. And Bogosian will play to the corner, and the Jets will just kill clock here as Lowry touches, and that's going to do it. For the second period here tonight at Gila River Arena. Coyotes got two power play goals in the opening period. They add to their power play tally with Shane Doan's ninth. And a pretty good 40 minutes of put together 
here tonight by Arizona. Special teams. This is a power play clinic tonight. The Winnipeg Jets continue to shoot themselves in the foot. It's been a parade to the penalty box, and the Coyotes have capitalized and made them pay for it. So at the end of two tonight at Gila River Arena, Coyotes with a 3-0 lead. Shots on goal, 24 for the Coyotes, 22 for the Winnipeg Jets. Don't go anywhere. Shane Doan chats with Todd Walsh when we return to Glendale. Coyotes Hockey on Fox Sports Arizona is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at GEICO.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. And by Behind the Mask Hockey Shops, serving Arizona since 1994. Visit one of our three Valley locations or shop online at BehindTheMask.com. Welcome back to the numbers through two. Well, the special teams have been a big part of this game tonight, Tyson Nash, and, and the discipline, or maybe the lack thereof, on the Winnipeg side of playing a role. Yeah, the Coyotes really doing a good job just staying in their system, not taking too many risks. The Winnipeg Jets have definitely given them their more than their share of odd man rushes. You look at the numbers, six to two. As you mentioned, special teams, the Coyotes have absolutely destroyed Winnipeg on the power play. Well, if you know somebody between the ages of 10 and 14 who loves hockey and would love to be a guest broadcaster for the game, then have them come out to the Coyote Senators game this Saturday at Gila River Arena at the Fox Sports Arizona Sanderson Ford Kid Caster Auditions inside the arena. Auditions will take place from 4 to 5 at the Coyotes Ticket Central across from Section 111. And again, if you're coming out to the game Saturday against Ottawa, that is a 5 o'clock puck drop, not 6 p.m. So we want to get the word out on that. I believe that's for Canadian television. So just before this third period gets underway, we'd like to just kind of set the table a little bit and how the Coyotes are going to bring this one home, Matt. You got to make sure you take care of the blue lines. Make sure you get pucks out and you get pucks in. And defensive coverage, do not feed the fire of this transition game of the Winnipeg Jets. They got speed to burn this top line of Ladd, Little, and Blake Wheeler that combined for 26 points in their last six games. All three goals for the Coyotes tonight, right in front of the Winnipeg net. Blake Wheeler, I would imagine, you should take a look at him on the bench. He'll get a couple of good looks in the third. He always does. You saw Dustin Buffalin before that. And we begin this third period at full strength. Puck will be played back, and Brian Little will set it up for Bren Sherratt. Through center ice, picked off by Toby Reeder. Reader, Chipchura, Korpakoski out there right now for the Coyotes. Ben Sherrod will bring it across center, sends one in. Into the corner after it is Brian Little. Comes back out high, he was looking for Andrew Ladd, and this one's going to go all the way down. So the Jets will set it up, opening minute of this third period of play. Goal scores tonight for the Coyotes, and all on the power play. Mikkel Bacher, Oliver ekman Larson, Shane Doan. The right guys are scoring. Guys that need a little confidence right now. Confidence is everything as a professional athlete. And Shane Doan hasn't smiled in some time. He's been red hot tonight. Boy, he just rifled that one wide of Pavlik. And out come the Jets. Back it over the line, Wheeler. Wheeler trying to get it to the front. And just deflected it over the top. Good stick there by Connor Murphy. Wheeler has it, got it to the front, blocked away that time by Brandon Gormley. Doan will race it to center. And he wisely backhands one in after taking a whack that time from Jay Harrison. Got safe play there, though, by Shane Doan. We talked about the blue lines. Get it in deep. Wheeler again brings it in with speed. And now into the corner where 
Chris Thorburn will work it in behind the net. Adam Lowry sends it around, and Postma will send it back behind the net. And now Thorburn has it. Took a shot. It was blocked away by Yandel. And played out of the zone. Postma. And now Yandel inside of his own blue line. Works it up nearly outside that time for a Sam Gagne. And the Jets will play it around for Matt Halischuk. Hardy winning. Goes behind the net and Paul Postma, former teammate of a Michael Stone, sends one deep. In after it is Galliardi. Got checked off the puck that time by Ekman Larson. And now Michael Stone will try to backhand one out, but he can, and this one's set wide and right back in. And Sherratt works it down low. Into the corner now. Alice Chuck going to work for Winnipeg. Jim Slater is in there as well. Now Joe Vitale is going to try to pop it up the boards. This time for Brandon McMillan, and he skates it out. Over the line intended for Dave Moss. Well, he had a step on him, and McMillan would have hit him. An example of Winnipeg just being a little bit too aggressive. Comes free and out of the zone, back through center ice. Galliardi over the line, and a glove save that time by Smith, and he holds for a faceoff. Well, three seems to be the magic number in the NHL. It's certainly the magic number for the Coyotes when it comes to scoring goals. When they score three or more, they're 11-3-5. and five. Completely different story when they don't get to the three-goal plateau. That's all about math. And you got to give your goaltender a little scoring help. Mike Smith has not got a lot of that this season. Just over two goals a game as far as offense goes for Smith. You almost got to be perfect. Oh, I'm under two a night, that's a difficult thing to do. Into the corner now, and Little comes away with it. The left pad save, and covering up is Mike Smith. Meanwhile, Ladd looking at Connor Murphy. Oh, here's what I was talking about, the goal support for Mike Smith. Two goals, lowest goal support average. There's Buffalo at 1.8. But two, that's, that's difficult. That's a lot of pressure on a goaltender. Night in and night out. Rolls right to Smith and he's going to cover up. So we'll get another face-off coming inside the Coyote zone. Smith has been real good in this game, and you go back to after they scored their third power play goal, the Jets came back with a real good opportunity, and Mike Smith made a huge save. That was the difference earlier in the season. He was letting those in and allowing the Jets that were out of a game back into a game, making it all of a sudden 3-1 to one and giving them something to feel good about. Bogosian gets it out, trying to move it on left wing for Andrew Ladd. He'll swat it deep. Smith back to play it. Sends it around the boards. Coyote's trying to get it out. Korpikoski, and he moves it for Chipchura. Dumped right back in over the line as Reeder goes after it. And Dustin Bufflin will give way there for Bogosian. So Bufflin and Bogosian, and now Bufflin over the line. Sets it up for Shifley. And the Coyotes will bring it out for Martin Erath. On the right wing for Antoine Vermette. Try to get around Wheeler. Now Vermette tried to dump it to the front. Took a rough ride that time from Wheeler. And it's played back by Chris Summers. So in behind the net for Keith Yandel. Ben Sherrod at center. Now inside of his own zone. Paired with Buffalo here tonight. And Sherrod will cross center and he sends one in. Mike Smith will steer it around and Yandel will try to get rid of it quickly. Right there was Gagne. Good low support by the forwards here tonight for the Coyotes. Yeah, low support. And it's amazing. When you're low and then all of a sudden you get the puck, you come up the ice and you're able to generate so much more speed. You watch Pavel Datsuk. There's no one better in the league. Sidney Crosby as well. They come so low. They almost exaggerate it low so that when they get the puck, they are at 
full top speed. And the defense are backing up and on their heels. The other night you were talking about St. Louis's F3, that low forward doing a great job. And there I see we're seeing it tonight out of the Coyotes in, in certain situations. Yeah, that high F3 in the defensive zone, low in the defensive zone as well. Out of the corner, Lesio has it. He'll dump it off. Bodker has it. Bodker, big curl. Looking for a lane. He got it towards the net. That was blocked away. And Prolique will come away with it. Good job by Lesio to get back. He kind of blows up the play, but the Coyotes can't get it out. And I think that's a play that Lesio is going to have to learn to make. And now Lesio right it in the middle there, and he's able to get it out. Yeah, good play there on the blue line, making sure he does not turn the puck over to Froelich. Get the puck in and go for a change. No it's, loss. And it's simple. You, you, it sounds so simple, I should say, but boy, that's how you win and lose hockey games. Joe Vitale wins the board battle against Peluso, and he sends down, but we get a whistle and an icing call. This is what we're talking about low in terms of forward support. This is it, exactly. Coyote's in perfect position. You got Joe Vitale watching here, and you got Dave Moss watching Bufflin on the back side. Aware, not puck watching. Good coverage all the way around. Goes in behind the net. They've been doing it well here tonight. Sharp angle, and that one just kind of pinballed to the front of the net. Coyote's can't clear. Wheeler's shot is blocked. And off the glass past Jay Harrison and up the ice, chasing it down as Moss. Icing is obviously waved off as Vitaly will take it into the right wing corner. And away with it is Jay Harrison. Out for Wheeler. Seems like he's been on the ice the entire third period. He drops it out high for Perot. Perot to the front. Oh, and they can't finish it off. And it was your man, Jay Harrison. You've spoken highly of him here tonight. Comes back in front. Looks like a penalty coming up here. This is going to go against the Coyotes. Wheeler was shaken up. Delayed call, so they sneak Ladd out on the ice. And Shifley now back to the front, and they score. And it's Perot on the delayed call. And Winnipeg is on the board. What a goal by Winnipeg. I'm not sure who redirects this puck in the slot. Watch the center of your screen. You'll see the Winnipeg Jet player come right in the middle through the legs. That was Ladd. A little redirect right there through the legs and onto the stick of Perot. Wide open net. Everybody puck watching. Everyone converges on Ladd. If Ladd touches that puck and handles that puck, he loses that puck. What a goal by Perot, his 10th of the season. And Winnipeg all of a sudden with some life. So Perot gets his 10th. Ladd and Shifley assist. Assist number 16, Andrew Ladd. And it comes at 649. 649 in the third period. Perot is 10th of the season from Ladd and Shifley. Out of the corner, Kyle Chipchura, and he'll take it in behind. And it got checked off the puck. And the Jets now with some life as they'll move it back to center. Trying to get around is Hallis Chuck on Gormley, and he shoots in a stop and a rebound. Oh, just sit wide. Well, this is when the Coyotes need their best shift of the hockey game. They got to shut Winnipeg down, not allowed them to build that momentum. The momentum has got to stop here. A lot of Jets fans here tonight at Gila River Arena, and they uh, kick up the noise. Well, I give nothing more to cheer about. Turnover here, quick counter, Little has it, back it over the line. Little shoots for Leak. He couldn't get the rebound. Well, that was a shot pass right there. In over the line, Vermet sets it up for Doan, and that shot just won. Play to the middle, Doan with a shot, oh, and Pavlik again with a big save. What a sequence at both ends of the ice, including the bid by Peluso. Back time now for our Taco Bell game summary, and Mike Smith has been terrific throughout this game. 
29 saves. They've been crashing his crease all night long. And Mike Smith trying to rebound after that tough night against St. Louis. Coyotes have provided him with the offense as well. Mikel Bacher got the scoring going at a minute 10 of the opening period on the power play. They would add to the lead. Oliver Ekman Larson, a power play goal at 318. Did I say power play? Yeah, Shane Doan, third power play goal of the night. And then just moments ago, Matthew Perot on a great feed from Ladd at 649. So the Coyotes are their three goal scorers holding on to a 3-1 lead here with just under 12 minutes remaining in regulation. Yeah, the work has just begun here. 12 minutes left in this hockey game. Dave Tippett knows this one's far from over. Bogosian chases it in behind the net on Doan. And now out with it is Shifley. He'll move it along for Perot. Perot went over the line. Good back check that time, but it's a cleared out of there by Doan. Perot is flying right now. Amazing what a goal will do. He was picked up from Anaheim. In the offseason, Perot feed it along, and Wheeler back out. Now Wheeler going against Antoine Vermette. Good lock up there by number 50. Yandel will punch it around, but he can't clear it. Kept down low by Jay Harrison. Comes free, Shifley. And now taken away by Bodker. Odies will set it up. Bodker now with speed in over the line. Keeps those feet moving. Bodker right to the front. He scores! And that's the Mikel Bodker we're looking for. What a goal! Second of the night. Speed kills Bodker. Oh, the great Dane has got the high step going tonight. What a play. Little give and go. He winds it up. And see you later. This is the speed we talked about. How about that play? He shows the puck and puts it right under the stick of Jay Harrison and walks right around him. There's the puck under the stick, and Harrison knows it. This is going to end badly for me. He gets to that far post and buries it past Pavlik. That is a thing of beauty, and that will be on a lot of highlight reels for the rest of this season, I can tell you that. So the Coyotes get it right back. Winnipeg got on the board at 6.49, and the Coyotes counter and answer just a little over two minutes past. Summers and Vermette get the assist. In behind the Winnipeg net. To the front! Oh, what a stop there. Moss robbed by Pavlik. Nice hit there by Lesio as it's forced in behind the net. That's a big goal there by Bonker to relieve some of this pressure. Winnipeg was feeling pretty good about themselves. Not the case right now. Down by three once again. Hardy with it for Winnipeg. Tries to get it out, stripped away. McMillan will take it away. Got it to the front. Out high, Murphy. He'll play it in behind the net. Big hit that time on Chris Thorburn, and Thorburn takes a whack at him. And it's cleared over the bench, and let's see what happens here. Oh, the whole bench is yapping at Thorburn. 4-1 Coyotes. 36 to go here in period number three. Coyotes with a 4-1 to one lead. Mike Smith, the coaching staff has continued to talk about him playing through his struggles. That's the only way he's going to get through it. And tonight, we're seeing progress. One goal allowed on 30 shots. So, you know, guys, the other night, it was a difficult game. But he talked about the progress and the learning experience he would take from it and any positives from it. I think we're seeing that. Of course, we'll see you right here for our post-game show, Coyotes Live, presented by CenturyLink after the game. Matt and Tyson. All right, thanks, Jody. And off the faceoff, the Jets will control it. Well, Mike Smith uh, had the big night against uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets last Saturday. So far, so good here tonight. A 29-save performance. Played back and over the line on the right wing by Dustin Buffalo. He'll cut in behind the net. Now well, here's a chance for Ben Sherratt. Looking to set it up. Sherrod works it back out high. Good keep of the line before it 
Goes off the skate of Reeder and up the ice. Justin Bufflin. Try to get it out. Lazzoni fanned on it. Up his play back, and that may have caught Bufflin up high. Well, it looks like a penalty coming up here against the Coyotes. Well, the Coyotes, let's hope Bufflin's not leaking. Otherwise, this could be a real bad situation as Shane Doan goes to the box. I'm thinking he is. Shane Dome was just going down, and in fact, it is going to be a four-minute penalty as Bufflin was bleeding. Arizona 19, double minor, four minutes for high stick. That's just, that's bad luck. That's, he was kind of spinning around in his stick. Came flying around. And well, nothing new here. Definitely a penalty. For Dave Tippett and the Coyotes, they've done a great job on the kill. Let's see if they can finish it off here. They are called to the dance floor once again to get the job done. NHL's worst. Huge, huge the point of this game is it's played around by Michael Stone and down the length. Double minor to Dome. Erat out there along with Antoine Vermette, Oliver Ekman Larson, and Michael Stone. Perot will bring it in. He's got the Winnipeg goal. Perot drops it to the front. A stop that time. Great look out high by Little. Into the corner now. Ladd feeds it to the line. Postma over to Little. They go with four forwards here, does Winnipeg. Now a chance in front. Ladd had a fan on that. Back to the line. Postma across. Little. That rode up. What a block by Stone. Back of the line. Postma across it goes. Here's an opportunity by a Perot and a glove save by Mike Smith. Wow, well, Mike Smith looks real good. Real confident in net. How does it go from getting shelled 6 nothing in a game and coming out and playing like that here tonight? The puck looking like a beach ball for Mike Smith in this game. Big shot by Perot. He's got the hot stick. Mike Smith snatches that one out of midair through traffic with Wheeler right in front. 3-12 remaining in the double minor to Dome. Behind the net, Connor Murphy in a big battle. Three jets down low. Back to the line. Good keep, Bufflin. Coyotes may get a chance here. Korpakoski all over the puck. And it's poked out, and Korpakoski's going to go after it against Shifley. Great effort here. And Korpakoski getting it deep before the Jets will set it up. Shifley, he assisted on that goal from Apero. Brings it in for Froley. Out high now, Bufflin. His shot deflected. Here's a chance, and a shot goes wide of the mark by Apero. Never seen a team miss the net so many times in Winnipeg here in this game. Poor execution. Two shots so far on the power play for the Winnipeg Jets. 2.18 to go in the double minor to Dome. Back it over the line. Wheeler trying to go to the net. He hit the outside. Play back of the line. Bufflin across and a shot taken that time. Stopped by Smith. Ends up in behind the net. And now Joe Vitale's going to take it away and he skates it out. Vitale over the line. He drops it. Moss with a shot and a stop there by Pavlik. And it's moved right back through center where the Coyotes will chase it in behind goaltender Mike Smith. And Chris Summers will bring it around, but Connor Murphy can't get it out. Played here by Postma. Across it goes. And now Harrison tried to work it to the front. And Martin Erat will skate it out. And he moves it along for Antoine Vermet, who does the big curl. Oh, great play there by Vermet. I used to hate that. <laughs> Guy would do that. Oh man, you get fired up. 118 remaining in the Dome double minor. Four Winnipeg shots on this power play. Stone. More battle here for Oleko flipping around. Loose puck, and it's going to go back to the line, but Postma couldn't keep. Paul Postma. 55 to go to the Dome double minor. Played right back down Shifley, and this is an icing call against Winnipeg as they continue their 
disorganization to an extent on the man advantage. And boy, he can shoot you some looks, that's for sure. The head coach, Paul Maurice. Now, this is a team that was not ready to play this hockey game tonight. Took a, a team in the Arizona Coyotes. Yes, they're struggling, but they took them for granted. They took them lightly. They definitely have been outworked, out battled, out competed in this game. And the Coyotes have capitalized on every opportunity almost on the power play. Back through center ice, Hallis truck has it. Tries to go to the corner, knocked away, and cleared out of there by Dave Moss. A half a minute to go on the Dome double minor. What a kill this would be. Buffalo will set it up. Out with it through center ice they go. Played in deep this time by Jay Harrison. Played by Mike Smith. And an open outlet and down the length of the ice. This has been a, a special teams clinic tonight. Back it over the line, Hallis Chuck taken away. Summers steps up, he'll get the open. Wing, and Doan is out, what a kill. Double minor killed off for the Coyotes penalty killing unit. Superb here tonight against the Jets. This one's gonna end up back inside the Winnipeg zone and nearly too many men on the ice for the Jets there. Bogosian on left wing for Thorburn, over the line. Thorburn, a little pull-up move there, and it rolls right to Mike Smith. We will step out. 4-1 Coyotes. Periods tonight, Tyson. I talked about that pack mentality. Connor Murphy really kind of an unsung hero in that regard here tonight. Yeah, Dave Tippett talked about the game the other night not being 100% a goalie problem, more of a problem from everyone in front. And I'll tell you what, Connor Murphy, good stick, good job defensively, physically engaged in this hockey game. 23 shifts, three hits, three big hits as well. A complete team effort from the goaltender out. Adam Lowry on the draw against Sam Gagne to the line. Ben Sherratt, his shot was blocked, poked along, and the Coyotes will get it out. I think Lucas Lesio has been much more responsible defensively here too tonight, Tyson. You could maybe put him on the unsung hero list. He's, he's been good in his own zone. Maybe yeah, the best solid. effort that we've seen so far out of him. Yeah, very solid. Made an impact early in this game. Been rewarded with some crucial shifts down the stretch as well. Chris Thorburn gets it. Right back in over the line. Smith will play it in behind the net. Keith Yandel stretch pass to Alessio. And he'll get this one deep. So the Coyotes change it up quickly here. 3.52 to go in the, the third period as Prolique will dump one in. Andrew Ladd goes to work. And very calmly that time, Brandon Gormley was able to move it along and the Coyotes get it out. Here they come, over the line, it's Korpakoski. And now Murphy had that beaver tail going, he was tapping his stick. In the corner now, back out high goes Chipchura. Chipchura still with a puck, takes a shot and a save by Pavlik. Reeder was there. And another chance for Korpakoski as that's deflected wide. Uh, another good shift here by Chipchura, Korpakoski and Reeder. Really playing with that speed. Playing fast, as Dave Tippett likes to call it. At the line, kept that time by Postma. Vitali, though, looking to blow it up, and he does. Out with it is Brandon McMillan. And he'll dump one in. Dave Moss, another solid outing here tonight for the Coyotes. Is McMillan in the corner. Moss frees it, but it's taken away, and the Jets will bring it out. Wheeler trying to chip it around Michael Stone. Oh, Wheeler's got that pull-up move down pat as Shifley will take it in behind the Coyotes' net. Wheeler is there, and now Perot, and his shot goes wide. Kept by Bogosian. Plays it in behind the net. And now Bogosian back out high. Another penalty coming up here against the Coyotes. As this one into the corner, now Wheeler with a chance. Delayed call. And again, it's Ladd out as the extra attacker for Perot. And now a shot taken that time goes wide on the deflection. Still a delayed call here as Perot will move it to the line for Sherratt. Now Sherratt for Perot. And Perot skates in. It's loose in the crease and covered by Smith. And we get the minor, which is going to be a slashing call. 
There's a look at the penalty. Oliver Ekman Larson, a little slash there on the right leg. And he's back to the kill while the Pepsi Saturday Night Family Pack returns against the Senators as part of the Coyotes Kids Day. Get four tickets, four Pepsis, and four hot dogs starting at just $119. Purchase yours today at ArizonaCoyotes.com or by calling 480-563-PUCK. That game Saturday night at 5 p.m. instead of 6. Coyotes go back to the penalty kill here. With a minute 54 remaining in the third. And out in front, 4-1. to one. Yeah, looking to go 7-for-7 seven seven on the penalty kill here tonight. And put the work in in this one. This rolls right to Mike Smith off the faceoff, so they'll do it again. For the Blues, big winners tonight over the San Jose Sharks, 7-2. to Didn't they beat the Sharks just a couple of games ago, 7-2 as well? Yes, they did in San Jose, and we're going to see the Sharks here next Tuesday. Oh, yeah. 480-563 puck, by the way, if you want tickets. That's a couple spankings there by the Blues against the Sharks. Wow, two powerhouses going at it. Thought the Sharks would have come back with a vengeance there after they got their pants pulled down the other night. Played away and all the way back, Postma. Right up there by Doan. And now the Jets will bring it out. Interesting power play here late in the game. We got uh, Peluso out there. You've got Galliardi, Slater. I guess why not? You're down by three with a minute 15 to go. Yeah, I think this is a message from the coach, Paul Maurice. Big not, time. Not yep. impressed with his hockey club, how they played here tonight. Very undisciplined early. Party, and now Slater will bring it back through center ice. This one's going to go down well, the length, and we'll get an icing call here against the Winnipeg Jets. Just under a minute remaining in this one. Coyotes out in front comfortably 4-1. And, and Tyson, I believe this is the first time that the Coyotes have beaten the Jets on home ice since you and I did our first home game together way back, what, in 11-12, right? Wow. I like it. Opening night here. And Big memory for you. Our Every first. once in a while. That's why you're trying to sit on my lap up here. I can't, I can't believe you forgot that great moment in uh, <laughs> broadcasting history as the puck is played around <laughs> and played out and down the length of the ice. What a bounce back here tonight for the Coyotes. Yeah, we talked about it. Coyotes got spanked up in Vancouver with 6-2 to two or whatever the score was. Bounced back with a victory and then beat again in Dallas. Bounced back with a big victory over the Edmonton Oilers. And then here tonight, once again, talked about the leadership and pride in that locker room. He knew they were going to come with an effort. Into the corner, Thorburn, 18 seconds to go, and pops in front. That is just going to try to get it down the length of the ice. And that one, I believe, went between the benches. Got Brian Inglom down there, taking my spot. Yeah. As there's Mikel Bonker. There's Brian. Oh, yeah. Another analyst on uh, some of the Winnipeg Jets games and, of course, on NBC Sports Network. Does a lot of games with the man that used to sit in this seat, the great Dave Strader. That's correct. Played away and out of the zone. Six to go. Coyotes again. Bounce back. And they even the season series against the Winnipeg Jets impressively. Power play, absolutely terrific. The penalty kill, perfect. And they get a big win here tonight by the final score of 4-1. to one. And Mike Smith, 34 saves in the win here tonight. Uh, the first win against the Central. How about that? But it was a game all about special teams here tonight. The penalty kill went 7-4-7. Seven seven, and the power play, I believe, went 3-5 for five here tonight. That's how you get it done. Yeah, Matthew Perot cut the lead to 3-1. to one, And then it was getting a little dicey until uh, Mikel Bacher just turned on the afterburners. And you're going to be hard-pressed to see a prettier a goal than this as he goes coast-to-coast. Coast. Butter and toast. I like that. Under the stick, look at that play on Jay Harrison. Earlier 
in the game. He got his first goal in 12, his 10th of the season. That goal there, his second of the game and 11th of the season. So the Coyotes with two goals from Bodker, one from Oliver ekman Larson, and the other one, the captain, Shane Doe. They're outshot by the Winnipeg Jets, 35-30. Doesn't matter, the lone goal tonight for the Winnipeg Jets, 10th of the season for Matthew Perot. Great to see the captain smiling here tonight with Keith Yandel. Riders are putting together a pretty good homestand here, too. Let's head to the public address announcer, Paul Sura, for tonight's Viquiva Hotel and Casino, three stars of the game. And here are tonight's Ganem Jewelers, three stars of the game, as selected by your Coyotes broadcast team. Tonight's third star, making 34 big saves on the night from your Coyotes, number 41, Mike Smith! Tonight's second star, with a goal and two assists on the night, from your Coyotes, number 19, Shane Dunn! And tonight's first star with two goals and an assist on the night from your Coyotes, number 89, Mikhail Butker. Our coverage continues with the first star, Mikel Bacher. And Mikel, I mean this with all due respect, but I get a sense that this game for you guys started Wednesday at practice. Yeah, it did. Uh, it was obviously important. Uh, we actually didn't practice yesterday, so we had a good gym workout. But uh, yeah, so it was good. It was a fun game tonight. We played fun hockey, and uh, Smitty had a real good game for us. I, I, well, you and I talked about this between periods in the first to the second period, but what was the key early on? There was an edge to your game. There's a pride to your game, but you also were getting behind that Winnipeg defense. What what helped that happen tonight? I think hard work and uh, just dedication to doing the right little things and uh, obviously shutting down all the Canadian fans here tonight. That was nice. So uh, yeah, obviously we, we, we enjoy when there's a pack building, but uh, it's always nice when uh, when you can hear your, your home crowd cheer for us. He is on Twitter, by the way, if you want to say hello to him later. Uh, McCall, also special teams here tonight. I mean, in, in every aspect, it's such a vital component to your game, but it was working on both ends, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. PK was really strong. I think uh, they had a... Did they have one on uh, uh, six on five there when, when we had a delayed penalty, I think? But uh, our power play was, was really good tonight, and uh, I think we did a, a... played a really strong game, strong 60 minutes, and uh, we came out with a win. When I let you go, we're going to take a look at it. But you tell us about that second goal that you scored tonight and the speed. Mikkel, you, you have it. You used it all the way to the net. Yeah, there was a little delay on, on the pass from some, so it was rolling a bit. But uh, once, once you get one-on-one, -on -one, you just hope that you can make a nice move. And uh, I saw some room. I, I made a nice move. And uh, the puck came with me, and it went in the net. So that was real nice, and it was a good win. Congratulations, Mikkel. Thank you. Enjoy this one. Thank you. All right, Mikkel Botker, as I mentioned, we'll take another look at this one as we go to a break. Smiles all around for the Arizona Coyotes tonight. We'll get inside the Coyotes' room in a moment. Upstairs to Jody, Matt, Tyson, and the rest. Coyotes with a big win over Winnipeg tonight. Thanks in very large part to Mikkel Botker, tonight's first star.